Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is, uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be a conclusion but it's the next part of the nice tool program. Uh, we continue to uh, put in these things, uh, put in the methods uh, that we created so far together. Now uh, one method that remains uh, not finished is the rblocks filled method which basically goes and determines whether the blocks are filled. Simple enough. So um, what I'm going to be doing here, um, I'm going to do a boolean blocks are filled and I will assign it true. And we will do a, a nested loop. So for integer i equals zero, i is less than row and i plus plus and we will do the same for the for the columns so for integer c equals zero c is less than c is less than columns and c plus plus and what we are going to be doing is checking whether the uh, um, movie trying to make contains a grid symbol or not so if moves that's our array of moves i and c are the indexes so in other words zero zero for well, let me start with zero zero now does n if it does not contain the grid symbol we can add the move to our round moves plus plus it's just a counter that we use if you remember the first video we have the round moves a counter so in other words if it is not uh, equal grid symbol we still have uh, some available uh, available moves I mean uh, we, we filled another square with our uh, valid move we're basically counting if it's a grid 8 by 8 are we be counting if there are any axes, I mean, uh, in this case, if there are any grid symbols, uh, if there are only axes, then the grid is filled and we won. The game is, uh, or the, the tour is over. So, um, else we will return blocks are filled, uh, or we will set it to false blocks I forgot K over here so blocks are filled equals to false and we will basically return oh, I'm already returning here I'll just override it we will return whatever is being hold, held in the uh, blocks are filled so it will return true or false we set it to true by default uh, However, if this condition, any of the condition, uh, if this condition comes true, then it is set to false and it will remain false, no, no matter what, because we only check in else. In other words, if this is true, blocks are filled, is not being changed. And if it is changed, it's just being changed back to false over and over again. So, but if uh, we will return false in that case, However, if this never comes true, it will remain, I mean, if it never comes be, uh, false, it will remain true that we set by default up here. And you will see this uh, in action, uh, well, right now, because I'm going to code the, uh, start coding the main function a little more. So we have the, the main loop, basically making the, the move. And uh, what we can do, we can, uh, after that, after the no more moves are being made, we can do the check um, if all blocks are filled after each round. Um, you know what? Let me run it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but let's see what the what I get so far uh, 
and it's not doing anything yeah so let's let's just do that uh like i planned on so this is the we have our um Mm, let me let me think quickly. Uh, let me see. What is it that's wrong? Well, first, uh, let me just get the populate array uh, and display array because I need them in order to actually perform uh, or even sh show anything on the screen. But this is still not uh, working. I edit console read key just so I have to press the key after each move. But it seems the problem is here. So let me see. If moves are already made, uh, then return true. And uh, I'll set move to true. And. Uh, uh, let me see again. So this one, all right, it's perf supposed to perform until bed counter is eight. In other words, if we already, we, if we cannot make any more moves, we're done. The game is over. Until then, we will be keeping making the moves. So, oh, you know what? Because this one has to return false because we are playing until uh, no more moves are possible in other words it always returns false at the end we are only simply making moves within the while loop in between so um, yeah let's run it now let's see what we get and uh, and here is our um, grid so yeah that seems to be that seems to be working if i press this these were our moves that uh that i made okay all right so that's uh that's like a little bit of uh the the logic there but it's not obviously finished yet let me just uh work on that now so um when we populate the array we will do this console.check and uh, we will display the grid and uh, yeah that's basically all so um, what if I change this to let's say 4 4 by 4 grid what is it going to do and this was the best it could do alright so um, but let me check to make sure that we are getting in, you know, moving in L shape and the moves are valid. So I'll, I'm going to do it. So I press a key after every single move, not just every tour. So let's do that now. Mm, all right, I'm trying to see that. So um, over here, when we actually make the move, a valid move, I'm going to do. Uh, display grid so I will see each individual move and I will do console dot read key so I will pause the screen after each grid is being shown so let's see if this is gonna work okay so here's my first grid I'm not sure where the first position is so that we started so but now we moved over here so we are on a3 so let's see where we move from there. Now my grid is 4x4 four four now, so A3. And it looks like I moved to B1, which is a valid move. Two up, one right. So I'm on B1. And I move to D2, which is two to the right and one down, which is a valid move. Now I'm down here on C4. From C4, I went to uh, B2, B2, now it's uh, A4, two down and one left, so that's valid. Uh, I'm not sure where I am now, over here, I believe C3, 
That's a valid move from B. Oh, I'm from A4. And uh, let me just keep clicking. But that's it. Uh, from wherever I am now, uh, I was in. I'm on D1, and I cannot move here, and I cannot move there, and I cannot move there. So basically, I'm stuck from here. I cannot go uh, outside of the grid or in the po moves that I already made. So uh, the individual moves seems to be working. So what I can do now uh, to actually put it all into like a loop uh, so it's automated rather than me pressing a key each time. I just wanted to make sure that the moves are correct, that the uh, each individual moves are in L shape and then the conditional st uh, statements work fine, so we don't go outside of the grid or we don't move back to our position that we already were in before. So in the next video, we will conclude this. Uh, we will just code, code uh, some loop uh, that will automate the creation of the grid, do some counters to determine the best moves that we made. So stick around and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.